Excuse me, can you tell us what kind of birds these are? They hatch from eggs I found in a nest. <laughs> Good heavens. I'm very glad you brought those in, Bart. I'll just get those killed and you can be on your way. <gasps> Wait, what the heck are you doing? My civic duty, that's what. Bolivian tree lizard? Mm-hmm. It's a vicious oviraptor. It feasts on bird eggs and lays its own eggs in the nest. The unsuspecting mother bird cares for them until the babies hatch and devour her, too. <laughs> what a chump! It's already wiped out the dodo, the cuckoo, and the nene. And it has nasty plans for the booby, the titmouse, the woodcock, and the titpecker. How vile! Well, the one thing that mystifies me is how a Bolivian lizard made it to Springfield. <clears throat> that is a puzzlement. <clears throat> <laughs> Our top story, the population of parasitic tree lizards has exploded, and local citizens couldn't be happier. It seems the rapacious reptiles have developed a taste for the common pigeon, also known as the feathered rat or gutter bird. Well, I was wrong. The lizards are a godsend. But isn't that a bit short-sighted? What happens when we're overrun by lizards? No problem. We simply unleash wave after wave of Chinese needle snakes. They'll wipe out the lizards. But aren't the snakes even worse? Yes, but we're prepared for that. We've lined up a fabulous type of gorilla that thrives on snake meat. But then we're stuck with gorillas! No, that's the beautiful part. When wintertime rolls around, the gorillas simply freeze to death. Hmm. 